。那么最近呢，中央中央政府呢有一个提出了一个新的政策，就是叫京津冀啊联联合发展，就是这个京津冀。但是呢，在学术界对这个问题有很多的讨论。So, in fact,、uh, the recently the central government has proposed that、uh, Jinjinji, which is、um, the Beijing, Tianjin, and Hebei region,、uh, that they should have a joint development. But, however, there are quite a, there's quite a bit of discussion、uh, within the academia. 那么提提提出京津冀这个发展战略呢，其中有一个想法就是北京的交通太堵塞了。这个基础设施跟不上了，想把这些过于密集的人口呢扩散出去。So the one of the ideas of this Jinjinji development was that because many Beijing, you know, Beijing is、uh, that is very populated, very populous, and it it suffers from terrible traffic jam, and so the intention and the and the infrastructure is not catching up with the development of the population. So what it wants hopes to do is that with this Jinjinji cluster, you can move some of the population outside Beijing into the Jinjinji cluster. 但是有些专家说，日本的东京曾经也是有过这样的想法，说东京人太多了，想把人疏散出去。但疏散了一二十年以后，发现东京的人更多了。Uh, so and、um, but some of the some of some of the experts say so. But Tokyo has thought about it also, and they try to do something similar, you know, and try to get some of the people out of Tokyo. But it seems that after that, you, after twenty years, it seems to be more populated. 那么北京的也有些专家认为说，这个政策呢很可能达不到目的，因为北京想把人口疏散到三环以外去都做不到，你还想把它疏散到天津去更做不到。So in fact,、um, in Beijing also, you know, people were, seems to be sort of quite pessimistic also because people don't want are quite reluctant to move outside the third ring because Beijing has third ring, fourth ring, fifth ring, and people are not willing to even move out the third ring. So let alone getting them into Hebei or Tianjin. Actually, Beijing, as I have said earlier, the city of the Chinese density is not enough. But the city's planning, the infrastructure system, and the planning have many problems. 使得一个并不太集中的一个城市显得交通特别拥堵。And so, as I said, the concentration,、um, in fact, is not enough、um, in China. But because of all the planning, whether in terms of traffic or other kinds of infrastructure, is not enough. Hence, it feels congested, despite the lack of concentration. 那么，中国的这个呃集中度这个表格已经看得很清楚了，因为长三角城市群是中国人口最密集的地方。但是和波士顿比，和五大波士顿地区比，五大湖地区比，啊，北海道的城市群，还有英国的，我做了一个比较，中国的集中度还是很不够。Yeah, so if you look at um yeah, the Yangtze River Delta, in fact, a glom uh, uh, the concentration of population of or different uh parameters is not enough, as I've said, but it's already the highest. And if you compare to Boston, the Boston cluster, the Great Lakes cluster in the U.S., Hokkaido in Japan,、uh, England, and all the different places which I've made a comparison, is still very much lacking behind. 当然，中国现在呢有一个交通方式可能会对未来中国城市化产生一个比较大的影响，就是高速铁路的发展，可能会将来更能够优化中国的城市群的空间布局。Uh, how, of course, there's one development in China which I think can help optimize the spatial distribution of the urban clusters in China, and that would be the development of the high-speed rail. 嗯，大家如果到中国去坐一下高铁的话，我我是最近经常坐高铁，我发现除了北京的这个高铁站几乎是建设建立在市比较市中心的以外，其他的城市的高铁站。它是故意规划在离城市有一定的距离的地方，它是想形成另外一个城市中心。So I always take the high speed rail because it's really convenient. And you'll notice that if you go to Beijing and you go to China and you take high speed rail, other than be,、um, except for Beijing, where the where the high speed rail station is situated within the city, for the other cities in China, other Chinese city, the high speed rail station is in fact deliberately Built in in a place where it is 
quite away from the urban centre, the city centre, so that it is a deliberate move on the part of the government to move some of them, to, to set up another city centre away from the original city centre. 